Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Bang and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a Q&A because I don't know, I feel like I get a lot of repetitive questions in the comment section and thought that this would be a good like monthly or bi-monthly video to film just to kind of keep everyone updated, answer all of your questions and yeah, kind of just make a video dedicated to answering a lot of the common questions I get. So First off, make sure that you like and subscribe to join the Bing Bunch, and yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I posted on Snapchat and the community tab to ask me questions, so I'm going to start with the community tab, and then I'll pick a few off of Snap. So the first question is by Giselle Medina. Hi, Giselle. And it says, if you could do a collab with any YouTuber, who would you want it to be and why? I don't know. Okay, Shane Dawson, obviously killing the game. I love Shane David Dobrik. Like, I just, I watch a lot of, like, funny vlogs, and I love Shane's docu-series. Honestly, my life has been, like, so insane, though. Like, it would be a good docu-series, but, yeah, I don't know. I, hmm, I don't know. I just, I like a lot of people. I watch a lot of random, like, YouTubers that you wouldn't even think. So the next question is by Cynthia Sabellos. Sabellos? I think that's your name. Sorry, Cynthia, if I completely butchered that. It says, do you recommend a Mexican black king snake as a beginner snake? I do as far as care. Their care is very straightforward, super simple. They're very good eaters to usually. So I think they're pretty straightforward for a snake. And you don't have to worry about their humidity too much, as much as like a ball python and stuff like that, because they are native to like Arizona and more deserty areas. Um, but the one thing is they are a little bit more feisty when you're handling them and stuff. They're a lot more likely to run through your hands and stuff when you're holding them versus like a ball python that will just chill with you. The next question is by Becca Tolua. I think that's your name. Um, it says, do you want to own a farm? So honestly, like, I want to be in a situation where I'm making enough to comfortably own a couple horses and compete again, um, in my backyard and then trailer into a trainer. Um, but I'm not, like, super set on owning a farm. I guess maybe because I want goats and a pig and I'd love to have a cow and horses. So if that's a farm, then yes, I do. But not like a, not like a technical red farm. Like the red barns. Like, I'm, I want it to be more modern, you know? The next question is by Dinah Cook. It says, are your cats and dogs okay being around each other? Yes, they are. They're totally fine being around each other. They coexist constantly. And then it says, if so, how do you introduce them to each other? I'm getting a kitten and already have two dogs, so I'm just curious how you made it work. Okay, so Dina, um, I actually got my Doberman, my Aussie, and my two ragdoll cats all pretty much within a couple weeks of each other, so they were all really young when I introduced them. But when bringing a new dog in, I always like to make sure that they give the cats a lot of space, because for the dog world, space is respect. So I just make sure that they give them a lot of space to start off. I always do things slow and steady. Only let them be together when you're watching them until you feel comfortable leaving them alone together. And just make sure that you're not taking any risks. AO Animals H S T A C asked, when you were a kid, did you see yourself with this many animals? So when I was a kid, I was always super into animals. Like my little sister, she has all these animals with me obviously and she loves them all but I think I was more like just obsessed with animals I was an animal lover I would call I don't know I was always just wanting to be with animals that's the only sport I liked was horseback riding um pretty much anything to do with animals I was down I would always try to catch stray cats in the neighborhood and do a bunch of random things so yeah I was always super into animals I didn't know it would ever get to this point where I had so many and was making um, YouTube videos and stuff like that, but I totally have always been obsessed with animals, and I don't really think that, like, when you're little, you're always like, oh, I'm gonna own, like, this and this and this, but you don't know if it'll actually happen, and it's kind of happening, so that's kind of cool. Michelle Wyatt said, how did you become a YouTuber, and how did you start? So, I kind of just decided, like, I love animals so much and not a lot of my friends and stuff had the same interest in me so I started making videos so I could meet people that had the same interest and I could talk to them about it and kind of have my own little community of people that like 
what I like. So Mars and Brown said, what's your favorite kind of animal and do you think you'll get more animals? So my favorite kind of animal, I really like sloths. Um, I love elephants, sloths. I'm trying to think. Yeah, probably sloth right now. Um, and I am probably going to end up with more animals, but right now I'm really not focusing on getting more. My goal right now is to focus on getting their habitats better. I really want to do a bunch of enclosure upgrades. So right now I'm going to be more focused on upgrading enclosures versus getting more animals. John K said, if you could be any type of animal, what type would it be and why? I would definitely be a cat. I remember being little and being like, I'd totally be a dog. But no, I don't want to have expectations. Like, cats just get to lay around, do what they want, come up to you if they want attention. Like, a cat lives the life, if you really think about it. They have no expectations, ever. Giselle Medina asked, again, what is my favorite holiday? And my favorite holiday used to be Christmas because I had so much family to celebrate with. And then forever I've hated Christmas because it reminded me of my mom and stuff because we're not that close and I always have so many Christmas memories with her so it was always like really sad for me but I'm starting to get to the point where I really like Christmas again so that's exciting because it means I'm moving on you know. So probably Christmas again. I also really like Easter. I feel like it's fun. It's in the beginning of the year and yeah, it's just like a little bonus holiday. Like everyone's always like forgets about it and then all of a sudden it's Easter. I really like Easter, Christmas. I don't like Thanksgiving because of all the turkeys. Yeah. I got so many questions of how I take care of all my animals and stuff and how do I make the time. And honestly, so I, ha I live with my family. I do all of the cleaning of enclosures and I'm a dog trainer. So First off, my dogs get a lot of attention because when I walk dogs every single day, I'm walking my dogs with them. And then for the socialization, my sister gets the animals out a lot as well as me. And then on top of that, um, for cleaning, I literally just do it twice a week, Monday or Sundays and Sunday and then like Wednesday or Thursdays and it works <laughs> it really works and yeah I just get it done I usually like after work or something I'll just be like okay I'm gonna bang this out I'll either get up super early or do it super late usually super early so I don't stress about it all day asking Alaska said do you see yourself getting pigs anytime soon um, I don't know why but I've always found them very fascinating I don't know if I'll get them anytime soon because I am um, still like undecided of where I'm going to be living and all, a bunch of things in the next couple years so even with the goats it was hard for me to decide like am I going to get them and possibly move. I'm definitely going to get pigs within the next 10 years I just don't know exactly when or how that will work but I'll definitely own pigs before I die. I'm promising it to myself right now. Okay Sophia Yao said this is off the animal topic which is totally okay. Um but how old are you and when is your birthday? I'm 18 and my birthday is June 23rd. I'm a Cancer for all of the Zodiac freaks out there. I love Zodiac. That's why I said Zodiac freaks. Um, because they're my favorite. And then also, would you ever get pigs? Yes, I just answered that. And she said, name them after me, please. Of course, yes. <laughs> and then, I love you, Sophia. Thank you so much for asking a question. And then Sydney Gray asked why I decided to get goats. Um, I live on a bunch of land, so it really made sense for me to get goats because they were, you know, keeping it a little bit clean, helping with weeds and stuff. So, yeah, it just kind of made sense, and I've always loved goats. They have such a great personality. They act more like dogs than any other animal I could think of off the top of my head. I love goats, and, yeah, I'm really happy that I got them. Okay, Sky's Pets asked, if you could take your dogs anywhere in the world with no cost, where would you take them? P.S. I love you and all of your pets. I love you too, Sky's Pets. Um, if I could take them anywhere, <laughs> I'm a homebody. So this is where I'm like, I'll take them home. Um, hmm. Probably, like, if with no cost, like, I'd probably get, like, a, a nice mansion where I could, like, compartmentalize all my animal rooms and everything. Nice backyard with a nice stable, but on vacation, hmm. I don't know, I really like like foresty places, probably like just camping. I, I love to recharge and get off the electronics, so um, it might be fun to go somewhere up north 
where it's like woody, woodsy and like there's a forest and a cabin. I love log cabins. I really want to live in a log cabin. And I can just like let them off leash and let them run around. Yeah. Probably camping <laughs> with a cabin. Glamping. Glamorous camping. Okay, and then Callie Shank asked, um, where do you see your YouTube future going or where's your future in YouTube? I don't know <laughs> at all. Um, I didn't really expect to even get to like close to 10,000 subscribers, so uh, it could totally keep growing and it could totally not. I don't really know what's going to happen, but I'm really enjoying everything as it happens and not taking anything for granted. So yeah, I hope that we keep growing and we have an amazingly huge family. Um, but if not, like, I'm totally fine with that. I never really had any expectations with YouTube. I just have always wanted to show people how much I love animals. And yeah, I'm going to continue to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than anything. Uh, I'm not going to do a creature call out this video because I was pretty much saying everyone in the video. And I, I think if I mentioned you, you're probably watching this. So thank you to everyone that asked questions. I love every single one of you. And I will see you next video. Bye! Do that. Wait, watch this. That's how it is with no light. Light. No light.